The condition of your child's school is a big topic of discussion right now in the D.C. Council. The committee that oversees the Department of General Services listened to hours of testimony yesterday, and now they're prepping to hear from government leaders. Our Jess Arnold listened in on that hearing. She joins us now live outside the uh, Burroughs Elementary School in Northeast. And Jess, you, you reported on a, a lot of issues there over the last couple of years. Yeah, from malfunctioning HVAC systems to flooding related to the boiler room to frustrations from parents over where their kids will be learning while DGS is finally making these repairs. All of those were a theme throughout many of the schools throughout D.C. during yesterday's hearing. I want you to take a listen, to, though, to what one school board member had to say about Cardozo, and then you're going to hear from a pre-K teacher about their playground. Since it's reopened, there have been constant problems with the HVAC system, leaks in the lower floors of the building, and a faulty sound system in the auditorium. Work orders piled up. The crux of our concern lies in the inadequacies of our playground to support safety and uh, the diverse needs of our students. Imagine a child with limited motor skills facing a playground where the primary feature is a climbing structure, or a drop off on a play structure that is missing its ladder. Ward 4 Council Member Janice Lewis George, who heads this committee on facilities and family services, helped pass multiple bills last year aimed at improving the Department of General Services performance. She said that from last year, DGS's on time performance completion of work orders has increased by 4%. So there is some improvement, of course, still room for more improvement. I did just check the work order dashboard an hour ago and it lists 6,100 open work orders. So as I mentioned, there is still a ways to go. Now, Councilmember Lu Council Member Lewis George mentioned multiple other bills that she helped pass last year aimed at improving this performance and its timeliness of the Department of General Services. I'm going to talk more through some of those coming up here at 6 o'clock. And then on Thursday, that is when we're going to be hearing from the director of the Department of General Services and government leaders as they testify on those improvements that they made and what they're looking to do moving forward. So we'll bring that update to you later in the week. But for now, I'll send it back to you in studio.